Hey everybody, it's Craig with another Pocket Now face-off. This one for dual-core world domination between the Samsung Galaxy S2 and LG's Optimus 2X. <laughs> All right, let's kick off our face-off for smartphone dual-core world domination between the Samsung Galaxy S2, LG Optimus 2X by going through some of the specs on our two combatants here. All right, Samsung's Galaxy S2 weighs in at 116 grams, definitely the lighter of the two. Offers a 4.3-inch Super AMOLED Plus capacitive touch display, resolution of 480 by 800, also offers Gorilla Glass. Upper left-hand corner, 2-megapixel front-facing camera for video calls. Below the display, you have two touch-sensitive keys, back key, as well as main menu key, one physical home key. All right, on the Optimus 2X, weighs in at 139 grams, sports a 4-inch IPS LCD capacitive touch display, same resolution, 480 by 800. Upper right-hand corner, you've got a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera for video calls. Below the display, you have four touch-sensitive keys, main menu key, home key, back key, as well as search key. All right, both of our contestants support an 8 megapixel camera. Both offer autofocus LED flash, geotagging, touch focus, face and smile detection, as well as image stabilization. They both also offer full HD 1080p video capture. Difference is Galaxy S2 at 30 frames per second, Optimus 2X at 24 frames per second. As far as batteries, the Galaxy S2 sports a 1,650 milliamp hour battery rated at 8 hours and 40 minutes of talk time on 3G. Optimus 2X, a 1,500 milliamp hour battery rated at 7 hours and 50 minutes of talk time on 3G. All right, Galaxy S2 comes in two versions, 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Both come with 1 gigabyte of RAM. Optimus 2X comes with 8 gigabytes of internal storage, 512 megabytes of RAM. Both of them offer Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS with support for HGPS and DLNA as well as HDMI out. Both can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. Processor on the Galaxy S2 is a 1.2 gigahertz ARM Cortex A9 dual core processor. On the Optimus 2X, it's a 1 gigahertz ARM Cortex A9 dual core processor. Operating system on the Galaxy S2 is Android 2.3 Gingerbread. And on the LG Optimus 2X, it's Android 2.2 Froyo. All right, let's continue on with our face-off and put our two combatants through some paces here. As you can see, I've got them both shut down. What I want to do is fire them up and see how much RAM is available at boot up on both. Let's see if we can get them both fired up. There goes our Galaxy S2. Come on, LG Optimus 2X. There we go. All right, we've got them both booting up. Galaxy S looks like it's ready to roll. Let's go into settings under applications, under running services, and down here at the bottom we should get a number. We've got 594 at the moment. Bumps up to 646 megabytes of free RAM, 637, 617. So it looks like it's going to run somewhere around 600, 621. Let's go into settings on the Optimus 2X under Applications, under Running Services. We've got 143 plus 100, so that's 243. We'll go around 240 of available RAM on the Optimus 2X after boot, 630 megabytes of free RAM on the Galaxy S2 after boot. All right, first up, let's run the Quadrant Standard Benchmark Test. We'll get that kicked off on both. And we've got a good clean start. All right, let's check our results for the Quadrant Center benchmark test. And the Galaxy S2 came back at 3242, and the Optimus 2X at 2503. All right, next up, let's run our Smart Bench test on both. Get that kicked off. All right, let's take a look at the results from our Smart Bench test. And on the pro Productivity Index, the Galaxy S2 is the winner at 3229 versus 3098. And the Optimus 2X is the winner on the Game Index at 2617 versus 2299. All right, last but not least, let's run our Limpack Pro test on both for Android. 
and let's run the benchmark and we've got the uh, winner is the Galaxy S2 Mega Flops 47.31 versus 37.193 and a time of 1.77 seconds versus 2.25 seconds on the Optimus 2X all right enough with the scientific test let's run our own unofficial speed test between these two see what they're like in the real world got advanced task killer on both killed all the background apps let's start opening some things up I'll try and make these as obviously as close as I can that was definitely the Galaxy S2 on the calendar contacts Galaxy S2 again let's go to maps Galaxy S2 again it's winning not by a whole heck of a lot but it is winning Gmail Galaxy S2 again let's try the market I think the Galaxy S2 finished everything lo loaded everything just a little bit quicker let's try messaging definitely the Galaxy S2 let's try third-party movies and again third party that was the Galaxy S2 as well so there's a look at our unofficial speed test all right I'm gonna offer up a little gaming on the Galaxy S2 and Optimus 2X we're gonna fire up Raging Thunder 2 give you a chance to see how long it takes each of them to load the game as well as what the graphic looks like on each I'm gonna actually play a little bit run a lap I can't promise any entertainment value out of that but uh, at least will give you a look at how they look as far as load up Galaxy S2 looks a hair quicker not by a heck of a lot all right and again I'm doing this through cam on so don't be too hard on me Let's try the Galaxy S2. That wasn't very nice of that guy. Ah, got him back. All right, there's a look at a little gaming on our two combatants. Optimus 2X up on top and Galaxy S2 just below it. All right, time to wrap up our pocket now face-off for dual-core smartphone world domination between the Samsung Galaxy S2, LG Optimus 2X, with our browser comparison. Again, I've got them both running off the same Wi-Fi network. I have the display set to automatic brightness on both. I've cleared the cache and history on both. And I have flash fully enabled. I figured, hell, a do core. They're supposed to be handle, able to handle heavy lifting. So let's see if they can handle some heavy lifting. Speaking of heavy lifting, let's head over to Engadget and kick it off there. And we're off. And it looks like pretty much a dead heat to this point. And our winner is going to be Galaxy S2, followed right behind by the Optimus 2X, which you can see is, again, smooth, but not to the extent that the Galaxy S2 is. And it is so sensitive, I barely tap something, and it took me to another article. We'll get it back loaded again, and we're back to our home page. It's very, very quick. And you can definitely feel the difference between the two when you're working with them. Let's double tap to zoom in. Both handle that very well. Pinch to zoom. They're both very responsive, no issues there. One thing that is nice on the Optimus 2X is that you can pinch to zoom, make the text larger, double tap on it to have it rewrap and fit the display. The Galaxy S2 does not offer that. Double tap to zoom in. If I pinch to zoom, double tap again, it simply pulls back away. But Galaxy S2 is definitely smoother between the two. All right, let's head over to Pocket Now on both of our contestants. And here we go. And we're off. 
Galaxy S2 is a winner of our first heat. And the winner here is going to be, it looks like Galaxy S2 again. Looks like they're choking on all the flash. Looks like the Galaxy S2 is having a handling it a little bit better. Right, here comes the Optimus 2X. Galaxy S2 is done. Optimus 2X is still loading. Again, incredibly smooth. No issues whatsoever. Double tap to zoom in. We're still waiting on the Optimus 2X to finish loading. There we go. Okay, got this all loaded up. Again, it's not as smooth. A little sticky. Double tap to zoom in. Pinch to zoom. Double tap. There we go. Flash seems to be having its way here with the Optimus 2X a little bit. All right, let's go in and uh, read more on both of these and see who gets there first. Wow, big jump by the Optimus 2X. Looks like it's going to take this one. And again, we're waiting for the flash. And again, it was the Galaxy S2. All right, so there's a look at our browser comparison between the Galaxy S2 and Optimus 2X. And based on our findings to this point, I would have to say when it comes to dual-core world domination at the moment, the Samsung Galaxy S2 is the winner. Hey, I hope that's been helpful. This is Craig for Pocket Now.